Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your power settings and squeeze a little bit more performance out of your PC. Check it out. For anyone that stumbled upon this channel and is new, we do a lot of how-tos, tech videos, tutorials, things like that, videos just like this one. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe if it's something that you enjoy seeing, and of course, the bell icon to make sure you receive any kind of future content. When it comes to power settings, there's gonna be a ton of different options that we're gonna be able to find. If you're on a laptop, you're gonna have a few more than a desktop. And we're gonna look at each one of those just kind of as a brief overview. The instructions I'm about to give you will work from anything from around Windows 95 all the way up, although visually they may differ just a little bit because of things have changed. So in this case, easiest way to find it is come down into your, your start menu, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. And then just begin typing the word power a little search box is gonna come up that's showing you what exactly matches. We're gonna left click on power options. And then you're gonna notice a window's gonna pop up and we're gonna have a few different options in here. On the left hand side, you can go ahead and these are quick access. So if you wanna choose when to turn off the display or when the computer goes to sleep, we'll actually go into a different menu that gives those options as well. Um, if you're on a laptop, you'll have one over here that says choose what to do when closing the lid. You can change that. And when you close the lid of the laptop, you can change it to shut down or go to sleep, etc. So on here, as you can see, we've, we've brought, up, brought, up, brought up two different preferred plans. One of them is balance, which is, of course is recommended. It gives you kind of a, uh, when you're not using the computer, it kind of goes into a power saving state. But if you're using it, it gives you a decent performance. But you can go through, be careful though, you can go through and uh, squeeze a little bit more performance out of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on change plan settings. Now here we have the option to turn off the display and put the computer to sleep. I myself, I don't ever care to put my computer to sleep. When I'm done for done with it for the day, I shut it down completely and then start it up the next day. However, I do like to turn off my displays when I'm not using them just to help A, conserve a little bit of energy and also prevent any kind of damage from them, if any at all. So in this case, I have turned my displays after 10 minutes. And of course, if you click on that, you have tons of different options here. So after 10 minutes, my screens will shut off, but my computer will remain on computer to sleep, I put never. You're more than welcome to change this. Uh, usually a lot of people will have it a, usually up to one hour or even a half hour if they're not using it. The computer will shut down and go into a sleep status and then you can press the power button or wiggle the mouse, press a key on the keyboard and that'll bring the computer back up. Uh, if you click on change advanced power settings, you're gonna get another little window here. On here you can go in and actually you know, really kind of boil down to what you want performance wise. A lot of the times you'll have your hard disks, they'll turn off after 20 minutes. What happens to that is A, it conserves energy, but if they are turned off after the 20 minutes and you go to, you know, read a file from it or write a file to it, it takes a second for it to spin up and get going before you can actually perform that task. So you want to adjust that accordingly. I usually just turn them, zero usually will mean never, they won't shut off or anything like that. That just, that'll maximize performance. Now you can click on this little bar here and choose which kind of profile you want to do. So again, we've got the balance, we've got the power saver, and then there's a high performance. What this will do is it basically, it doesn't reduce any kind of power consumption. It makes everything go as fast as it can and it makes everything perform the best that it can. Of course, you can go in here and, and kind of look at these. You wanna be careful with some of these. You don't want uh, to mess with too many settings of these. But uh, again, here's press uh, power buttons and lid power button, so if you wanna change by pushing the power button on the front of the computer, you can actually set that to either shut it down or actually go into a sleep status. So uh, USB settings, if you want a specific USB device like your mouse or keyboard to shut off after a certain amount of time, you can go in and change that. Of course, sleep settings, you can change uh, how it wakes up, when it wakes up. After uh, wireless adapter settings, if you're on a wireless, you can go in and change uh, power saving modes on that as well. So as you can see, Microsoft has given us a few different options as to how we want our computers to perform. If we want to be more, you know, computer saving, or I'm sorry, more power saving, or if you want higher performance, you can go in here and adjust accordingly. As always, thank you so much for watching that tech tip video. Just a quick question of the day before you go. How is your computer performing now that you've made some of these changes? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for future notifications. We will see you next time.